Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sam from Historic Travels and welcome to another video. Okay guys, so hey, this video is just a real quick follow-up slash response video to a video that I made a couple of weeks ago where I discussed the whole where people argued on if or if not the Titanic actually broke in half during the final stages of the sinking. For those of you who haven't watched that video yet, I would encourage you to do so and there is a link to that video in the description below so feel free to go and watch that. But the basics of that video are this. In that video, we talked about how before the wreck of the Titanic had been found, people were arguing like crazy on if or if not the Titanic broke in half. And this debate continued all the way up until the wreck of the ship was eventually found. Now, in that video, I also mentioned at the end of the video that there was this Titanic conference in either the late 70s or early 80s. I couldn't remember which. It was definitely before the wreck was found where this Titanic survivor, and again, I couldn't remember her name, got up on stage at that conference and said that she actually saw the ship break in half. And then after she stepped off the stage, I kid you not, some young Titanic historian who wasn't even alive when the ship sank, got up and said, no, 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 you did not see the ship break in half. It was just an illusion because the funnel had fell. I mean, a guy who wasn't even alive when it happened is sitting there telling a survivor why her memory is wrong and why she didn't see this and blah, 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 blah. And I mean, it's just, it makes me so mad that I can't even just, how disrespectful can you be? Come on. However, despite the fact that I couldn't remember specific details about who the survivor was, when this conference was, or where I heard the story, and so on and so forth, I did remember enough about it that it didn't take very long for all you fine people on YouTube to know what I was talking about. And those of you who uh, did know what I was talking about quickly left comments in my comments section on that video to remind me, you know, who the survivor was, where the story came from, and so on and so forth. So to all of you who did do that, thank you guys so much for reminding me about that. And what I thought I would do for this follow-up video is share with all of you people here on YouTube who that survivor was, when this conference happened, and the specifics of this story. So that's what I'm doing today. Now, as it turned out, the place where I had originally heard this story was from a documentary that James Cameron released in the year 2012 for the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic. This documentary was called Titanic, The Final Word with James Cameron. And in that documentary, they mentioned this conference, you know? It was a meeting from the Titanic Historical Society. And what happened was in the year 1982, a Titanic survivor, her name was Ruth Becker, came to the conference. Now, at the time of the sinking of the Titanic, Ruth was only 12 years old, and she would end up escaping the Titanic in lifeboat number 13. Lifeboat number 13, for those of you who don't know, was the lifeboat that barely escaped the Titanic because as it was being lowered away, lifeboat number 15 almost came down on top of it and crushed all the occupants. However, at the very last second, they were able to cut the ropes and they were able to get lifeboat number 13 free from the ship before 15 came down right on top of it. So they were very lucky there. Anyway, it was at the Titanic Historical Society Conference in the year 1982 where Ruth came and told her story about what happened to her on board the Titanic. And she concluded the story by talking about how she saw the ship break in half. And she said that when the ship broke, everybody in the lifeboat was talking about it. Everybody was going, did you see that? The ship broke in half. We saw the stern go back this way, and then we saw the bow go down like that. I mean, they were talking about it. They saw this happen. And where this was 1982, of course, the wreck hadn't been found yet. And then after she was done talking, this is when this quote-unquote Titanic historian got up on stage and took the microphone and basically talked down to her in front of everyone there and told her, no, 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 it was just an illusion. You didn't really see the Titanic break in half and all this other nonsense. I mean, I really wish she would have just taken the microphone back and yelled at the guy and said, excuse me, were you there? And they basically say this in the James Cameron documentary as well. And I mean, just the sheer amount of disrespect. I mean, even if you disagree with her viewpoint, why would you do that? Why would you talk down to her in front of everyone? I mean, I don't know how you could be any more disrespectful. 
But anyway, that's it for this video. I just, I wanted to share with you guys who that survivor was and basically the full story of this one little incident that I mentioned in that other video. So just so y'all know. But I do plan to do a full video on Ruth Becker and her survival story from the Titanic in the future. So make sure you guys stand by for that. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next official Historic Travels video. Y'all take care.